Hey, Perry, you're up on this. How do you want to do this? Because we didn't, don't, well, nobody's read your report yet. Do you want to take five minutes of your time and read the report? Well, this is what I want to do. I mean, how are we going to approve something we haven't read? Just listen. Just listen. Yes. <laughs> you got to go? Okay. Oh, MC, I'm so old. I can't all right. The first day well, now, so we've all, one of my uh, items on here that I was pushing forward is to get a template so we can go out to the neighborhoods and deliver a message. Jonathan's a perfect example. This is one of the templates that we used at uh, the Roadshow previous, and you've seen it time and time again all over uh, the presentation that he does in different areas. Um, this presentation, I was hoping that Nicole was here because Nicole did the presentation herself. But this is the copy of the Roadshow for the Neighborhoods Commission, what we do as commissioners, okay? <coughs> How many people fully know what we do? Okay, I'm just trying to say because it, so we're gonna walk. I'm just gonna go through the slides just one at a time, and just so you can see how we're describing or putting out the word to the community about what we do. Go ahead to the next slide. Okay, we just listed the committee members. The speaker was Nicole uh, at that night. Go ahead and next one. Um, we tried to explain our charter, duties and responsibilities. I was surprised that most people didn't know the duties and responsibilities that we had and the framework that we portray ourselves as. They want to get into things that uh, don't pertain to us or we can't explain or talk about. So um, we went over our duties and how we perceived ourselves to the community at large. Now, the members' qualifications and candidates, uh, this is all through uh, the caucus process and um, the odd and even districts. And most people didn't even know how we elected, or I'm sorry, um, what's the pro, uh, correct term, Jonathan, for the, the election? It, no, nah, it's not, little, there's, a, there's a word I'm looking for. Appointed. Mm -hmm. Appointed by the the neighborhood leadership group. Okay? So they didn't even know how that was because... No, you're elected. Well, it's... You're voted, you're voted on by the neighborhood leaders, but it's not... It's the wording is a little bit vague. Okay? Yes. I don't think it's voting, though. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. That's an important concept for the neighborhood commission. Um... <laughs> no, 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 no. Just because I'm old, I've been around. David, the mission's elected. Marilyn knows everything. Well, no, no I, there was a specific word that I was looking for. But anyway, um, like I said, Nicole should have done this uh, earlier, but she bowed out. Okay, uh, give me the next slide. Okay. okay. Meetings and attendance, uh, how we go forward with um, our presentations and um, different items on the agenda, how we form certain uh, solutions to problems that they're not aware of uh, whatsoever. Um, they don't, some of them don't even know the time and the place to come. Uh, for instance, uh, did you have problem finding the place since they changed the well, well, location? Well, I had a little birdie told me, but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah it's not posted well, let okay, me put it that way. Just, <laughs> most people are, are, are running, uh, you know, usually we have that. Um, these are the districts and people that are in districts. These are uh, current mm -hmm. ad hoc committees that were on and what we were focusing on for the term of 2016-2017. Um, and it gives it a, a brief explanation of the direction that the Neighborhood Commission chose to go forward with uh, different ad hoc items. Um, we described ourselves as an hierarchy of uh, where we fit in the great scheme of things and the commissioner is over the leadership group but under the the uh, commission itself. So the commissioner reports to the commission and the commission goes to the city council member and uh, city manager as well as the mayor. So 
uh, we wanted to make sure that there was a train of um, <coughs> communication. And if they wanted to uh, go through certain communication, um, that would, we was just trying to tell them that, that this would be the most effective way to go. Go ahead, next slide. Um, the purpose was a two-way uh, communication between neighborhood residents and the City of San Jose Commission. Uh, Voice of the Community was, oh, what was that? Okay. It's been a while since I've seen these slideshow. <laughs> um, the Voice of the Community communication channels include uh, mail lists and variety online social work. Now, we <coughs> came to the conclusion uh, since then that uh, we needed a, a, a more condensed way of communication. And uh, now with uh, when we went to the um, retreat and found out there was social media restrictions along with that, uh, we narrowed it down to just uh, two that we're going to ask to vote on tonight to be put in, onto um, the next committee that does the you can't bylaws. Vote on anything tonight. I told you that. It's got to be on the agenda for us to vote on it. I put it on the agenda when it was, I, I asked it for the last meeting. It's not on the agenda. Okay. Let's go back and review that because that's what I asked on um, not the 24th, but the last time that I had a meeting. Should have brought that paper. Well, it didn't make it tonight, so we can't vote. So, well, wait, I, well, wait, yes, wait, wait we're, we're voting on the final report, and all these concepts are in the final report. So, why don't you keep going through the final report? Okay. I think these concepts are in there. We can vote on the final report. Well, that's fine. All right. That's, that's the best way around it. Yeah. Okay. So, in uh, retrospect, these things that I was uh, trying to get through about social media was next door and um, Eventbrite for two major reasons of getting the word out about special uh, news and activities that the Neighborhood Commission wants to get out. Um, when I first uh, started digging around in this, I didn't know the process in governing these types of decisions and getting it approved. And I found out that by having a bylaws for the Neighborhoods Commission, which we don't have, there's a certain uh, procedure that we need to have. We can't have one for a per ad hoc. It has to be added on to the bylaws itself. Okay, that govern the whole neighborhoods commission. So I found out that uh, the city attorney's office needs to be first on the list. Then it has to be approved by the neighborhoods commission, and then it has to be approved by the rules committee. So I only was pushing for a vote on if, if it's not on the thing. I wouldn't uh, have it put on to the bylaws for discussion on the work plan. That's all I was going to say, is be put on the work plan for discussion. Uh, <coughs> go ahead to the next screen. Yep. Okay. Now, the Neighborhood Commission's Roadshow was um, a bit two-way street and shared among uh, neighborhood and city staff officials and communicate, uh, communicate. Well, I'm looking for something here. Um, go to the next screen. I'm trying to go through here fast, guys. Um, go to the next one. Okay, that's it. Well, bottom line is, is that um, what we wanted to uh, accomplish is to go out and have a road show by going out to each community district and having a slideshow with the homeless and um, with what we are, the Neighborhood Commission, and how we operate so people would understand how we work and operate. 
Because, uh, I mean, I don't know if you've gotten the same message. Uh, what this neighborhood commission does, I didn't know there was one. How many times have you actually heard that? And I think that by uh, communicating this in our districts, that we can be more effective and that they would be able to come to us by whatever means possible, knowing that we're here to help their voice. Um, well, and, and also, I mean, the, the, the intent was that we had a structure so that the start of each of these meetings, the presentations at the, the leadership uh, council, we, we'd remind everybody what we all do, and that was the intent of that, and it was, it was formatted. And then whatever the topic of the day was, in our case it was homelessness, maybe it's illegal fireworks or dumping or whatever, but it still follows that same format, so we've got that branding. And, and that was the issue, is we just we wanted to always be in front of them to say, this is what we do, here's how you get hold of us, we're meant to be this communication, now here's the topic of the day. Yeah, so something that's standardized that any one of us in this room could take to our leadership and say, here's what we do. I'm a neighborhoods commissioner. Who knows what that is? Oh, you don't? Well, here's my PowerPoint. I'll show you what we do. And that way it's something we can easily go through, and if you get stuck yourself, you can look at the slide and say, this is what we do. Something short, simple. So I just have a comment, if you'd allow me. Um, it's yeah. just a comment. So, I mean, this whole thing was an outreach. I think the, the big issue that's in the report is how we're going to do the outreach. We all know in this real world that we're in today, social media is a big part of it, and it looks like we're going to have to work through the city attorney to use such things as Eventbrite, Twitter, Facebook, even email listservs. So that's all in the report. I think how we execute to that is going to be very important for us to be effective, and that is in the report that we're going to need all these social media tools, which, by the way, the city and the councilmen use all these tools already. But we want to follow the right protocol that the commission has been pre-approved to use all these tools for an outreach. Because otherwise, you're going to hold, hold these community fairs, and it's not going to reach its potential as far as reaching the community. I, I agree with you, but um, when I had a talk with uh, one of the city staff people, um, they, were, they were saying that just because the city council has all these accounts themselves that, believe it or not, the city attorney monitors their tweets and their emails and everything else. Uh, for them to put the bandwidth and the money into some of these things, like uh, Twitter and, or Twitter and uh, Facebook, these things, um, they're, they're too much of a close call for a violation for the Brown Act. You know, that it would it would be very very scary thing, but on the same token, if we use next door, and we had access just to our district, me and David wouldn't violate that because there's only two commissioners in that district. I think all those things we need guidance. So I, I think that's in the report very clearly. We need guidance. We need need to know the rules of the road. I think for me. This is great. I think we accomplished a lot here in terms of nomenclature of a Voice of Community Roadshow. But now the next step that we need to address is how we're going to do this outreach. I mean, word of mouth is one thing, and that's yeah. still, that still works in this Absolutely. virtual world that we're all in. But are we going to really reach the, all the districts within uh, San Jose just through word of mouth? Probably not. No. No. So, anyway, and, uh, that's just my comments. Well, and um, I've heard, uh, this is my two cents uh, at the tail end of it is that I, this is our presentation of what we thought the roadshow should be, instead of taking the whole Neighborhoods Commission to each district. I think that that, that was a, a very hard thing to do, and to have it go to each district like it was uh, previously suggested. So I took one of the suggestions and moved forward on that suggestion. So. When this committee starts back up next year, uh, if somebody else wants to pursue that avenue of actually trying to put together a commission in a different district, then I'm all for it. I just was trying to do something beneficial that would push forward quickly and get the word out to what we were doing. Any other questions? Yeah, that's kind of cool. 
This is absolutely awesome. I never know what to say when people ask that question, you know, get the slideshow. Do we have access to it? Absolutely. But it has to be approved by the Navy's Commission. <laughs> to use it. <laughs> to, to, to use, use it. it. To use it. Okay, absolutely. Perfect, perfect. So if I wanted to do it at our neighborhood thing, I could. Yeah. I just need to have permission. Was this yeah. part of the distribution for the handouts for this meeting? So this, this should already be a public document. It already should it be is. online. Um, yeah. okay. public, um, if you go to the Neighborhood Commission, you oh, know, San Jose Neighborhood okay. Commission, you'll see it on one of our agendas as the Roadshow slideshow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And since it's there as a PDF, you can That's use it to your heart's content. Sure. The, Absolutely. The, the only comment I wanted to make about this, as much as I do love this, that I was really caught off guard when it went this direction mm -hmm. back in January, February. When I voted on doing this last year, it was a two-year thing that we'd been working on where people really wanted to take the Neighborhood Commission, get us out of the high yes. horse building, yeah. and put us out in a public setting. That's what I voted on when I voted for this. So as cool as this is, it's completely different than where I thought we were going. So from a lessons learned point of view, I think that's you know the takeaway I have for it. Yeah, that's why it was called Roadshow. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. take the commission on the road. Take the commission. Right. Uh, any other questions for uh, Perry on this? I don't want to speak for the commissioners, but I just, yeah, just, just, just want to make a, a comment as a, as a neighborhood leader is that whatever you do to try to advertise yourself, I'm all for it. I think I'm a big supporter of the neighborhood commission. So, um, you know, whatever you, you can help to educate, but I'd suggest starting with the leaders first, like the leadership coalitions in, in each district, and then go out from there. And if you have something online, I think that's really great. As, since I was one of the original next door leads, I do have a caution for you in that every social media works a little differently and people are getting so much email now and even with all the things we're coming from city and county agencies on next door and next door has its own rules. So just be, you would have to be affiliated with one of the agencies through the city. They won't put you on otherwise as a group. We've already had we, we, yeah, We've already gone through that. Oh, but, you have, but, okay, but your points well taken. Yeah. We're already in the agency. But oh, your points, you are. But okay. your, your, your points well taken. Okay. I think the consistency of the messaging right. is important, not too frequent. frequent right. enough, and it has to be uniform, that we don't right. want different messages to go out on the same topic. Right, yeah, so the, and, yeah. and people are being flooded with messages, oh, too, yeah. so just, yeah. it's just, you know, just a caveat. Is that free advertisement? Yeah. <laughs> Any other comments on this? Okay, we have a motion to accept this report. I think a motion to accept this report. Okay, second, Charles. Second. Next door, Okay, all in favor, all opposed, um, David, you wanted to bring something that we're, there's a part on the agenda that we really never get to, which is called future agenda items, and there's attached to each agenda a, um, a yearly calendar, uh, which you can put on and go see. Um, where you can go look. Kind of what you through the whole year. Oh, okay. You basically, you keep everything here. But then we do at a uh, yeah, I, next month. Yeah, and you kind of touched on it uh, at the beginning of the meeting. I, I want to close here. We had a letter from Councilman Rocha that kind of questioned our purpose. It 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 was, you know, hit our hit our morale. I mean, we, we were our efficiency. It's like we're draining the city with with no ROI. I want closure. We we took a Saturday, we addressed all of his concerns, and there's nothing. And and we, he owes us, it may be, thank you very much, you're still wrong, but I'd like to, to get something formal. He did, gave us a formal document that's in the system that challenged the commission. I want another formal document with his answer to what we did, because we, we're, we're doing good stuff. And, and I, I, I want it on record that we justified ourselves. Would the way to phrase that be, we want to have a report on the retreat? That would be a politer way of saying yes, sir. Is, isn't that what we're looking for? <laughs> mm -hmm. well, we They're going to submit a report to 27. council and rules on this. That's right? happening on the 27th. Yes. But it'd be kind of nice to see it first, yes. right? I mean, we got yeah. blindsided before yes. with this letter <laughs> wandering around. The 27th comes after our meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it gets voted on on the 27th yeah. by council. Okay. I'll, I'll try to get that on. 
Okay. Okay. And it's it's a crapshoot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Going to the report. That's voted on on the twenty seventh. Uh, I guess that's an agenda item on a cotton. Do we get to speak on that, or, uh, or is that just a done deal? We put on the twenty seventh. Yeah, it'll be a done deal. It'll probably be so, on consent so calendar, something like that. But so but no, the issue, they but should but have the report that goes to council available in time for our meeting. I would right. hope. And that would certainly be the courteous way to do things. You know. But I, I will push hard on that, and we'll, we'll come up with something. Okay, thank you. Um, let me go through, uh, wrap up a couple of things that we're going to try to get done by next uh, month, by June 14th. Sorry, I have a question on that. Yes. What, what are the rules, or are there any, if we don't agree with the rules, what are the rules that are going to be followed? Talk to your own council member. As long as you don't coordinate with anybody around here or a quorum or more than a quorum. <coughs> our own council person. Sure. We can't talk to the liaison. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Call, call anybody who talked to listen to you. Right? Yeah. You can talk to all 11 of them if you want. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah
the retreat. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 yeah, that's a different thing. We're I'm sorry. But I have a comment along those lines. I mean, if I can. Yeah. So, what are we going to wait for this to come out of the bowels of the council, that's and then and then uh, and then we just deal with whatever it is. I mean, we have no input at all. That's, that's why I wanted it on the agenda. Yeah. Is it'll force their hand? I've you know? been pushing every week. I've yeah, no, I, I, I know you have. I know you have. It just seems like we're waiting for a bowel movement to come out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it is what it, it is. It could be a baby, too. Turn around. <laughs> turn that around and wait for facial expressions next day. <laughs> Part of the discussion from Dawn's office has been that we did a really good job this year. We went out and we talked to a lot of people. We used a lot of staff time, yeah. Yeah. and and all of that staff time that we went and used comes out of a budget, and so that's what's. But to me, up. there's there's lots of issues here. Staff time aside, the size of the commission, the scope of the commission. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know, it just seems like how can we write a letter when we don't know what the verdict is here? Yeah. 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 We can't write a letter. Okay. Well, it. One statement, and then we're going to go. The, the, it's interesting, if you go to the mayor's budget review, there is a line in there, the priority of the city budget, one of the line items, was money spent to improve community activism. It's like, hello? Yeah. That's right? Us. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Personally, I think that the whole uh, too much staff time is a completely bogus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. And that yeah, means yeah. that they've got some sort of a standard. Yeah, what is it? What's, what's the allocation? They've got some measurement system that we know nothing about this. We don't know. So, I think they're using it as an excuse. I agree. Okay, okay uh, Mr. Sandoval's not here. Do we have a motion to adjourn from? I have a motion to adjourn. I second. And I Kent Cunningham, all in favor? No, no, no. I appreciate you getting along with you. I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>